Hi everyone, Father Jeff Gubiati here. I'm the pastor of Assumption Church and School here in Ansonia, Connecticut. And uh, we're delighted to have you join us for this virtual tour of our building. We wish you were here in person to come through. Uh, Madeline Izzo, who is our administrative assistant, uh, loves to give tours to prospective families to see our beautiful facilities here. Um, but uh, since we can't do that in person, we figured we would put something online virtually for now and hope that soon enough you can come and see us in person. Uh, the uh, Assumption School has been around for over 100 years. In fact, this year, 20 20, we have our first ever fifth generation graduate. Um, so a long history of education and service to our community. Students have been coming here for over a century to enter to learn and go forth to serve. And we're proud to provide that great service to our local community, our state, and our nation. Uh, we invite you to come and check, the, uh, check things out at this uh, incredible school. And uh, we look forward to seeing you here in person soon. God bless you. Hi, my name is Madeline Izzo. I am the Secretary of Business administrator of Assumption School. I'd like to take you on a tour today of our school. Um, I'd like to start here on the first floor. Our first floor occupies pre-K three through third grade. We have one classroom for every grade level. Each classroom in pre-K three through third grade has a teacher and a teacher's aide. The average number of students in our classrooms are pre-K three and our pre-K four vary there's usually, um, usually the norm is about nine to 10 in pre-K three, and in our pre-K four classroom, we usually average between 15 and 20. Once we start getting to our regular grade levels, the norm is about 15 to 20 students. Some classes average a little bit higher. Um, but I'd like to take you on a tour. Let's um, move over to one of the classrooms now so I can show you. It's our second grade classroom. Um, but I'm gonna back up just quickly. Um, one of the things I did forget to tell you is this is our first floor and it does house again pre-K three through third grade. We do begin our day here on the floor. Um, the day begins at nine o'clock and uh, it starts off with a prayer service which is led by our principal Mrs. Molnar. Um, Mr. Burke who is our church organist as well as our music teacher, he plays the music. Together the school all incorporates here on the first floor and um, we start with, like I said, the prayer service, and then Mr. Burke comes in when it's time to play um, the national anthem. So we do do the Pledge of Allegiance in the national anthem um, as a group. Once that concludes, the kids disperse back to their classrooms, and that's where their days begin. Um, every classroom does have their own routines. Um, some classrooms unpack before they attend prayer service, other classrooms, they just unpack and go right into the classroom. But if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call me. Um, you can reach me at the office. The number here is 203-734-0855, extension 39. Here we are at the entrance uh, to the school. Um, just as you can see around me, uh, one of the signs here does show uh, we are an accredited member of NEASC. Um, as well uh, as that, I like to point out to um, families when they do come here um, that we are very um, conscientious of our security here. Um, we have approximately 20 cameras uh, throughout the school so that throughout the course of a day in various locations we are able to visualize uh, what's going on outside the building as well as what's going on inside the building. Here we are in our first grade classroom. Um, as you will see as the um, tour kind of takes you through the classroom, um, this is where we make the transition from kindergarten to first grade and they go from sitting at traditional tables to their own individual desks. Um, also in first grade, um, you know, things get a little bit, there's more books than there are in the lower grades. Uh, and I mean pre-K three through kindergarten. So there's a lot more individual subjects. Um, but, uh, you know, at this level, this is when technology really kicks in full steam ahead. Um, that's why our rooms are all equipped with our new smart boards. Uh, we actually recently replaced uh, most of them here on the first floor. Um, and it's also good for the students because the students aren't always sitting in their seats. There's a lot of interaction between the whiteboard and them getting up and down. So it's good for movement. They're just not sitting there. Um, 
Also, just so that you know, one of the things that I wanted to highlight about our school in particular is um, we do, in addition to the smart boards in the, in the classrooms, which are in every classroom, um, we have specials. Uh, we have gym once a week, we have art once a week, we have music once a week, they have technology once a week, they have Spanish once a week. Uh, for most of those, um, they are leaving the classroom and going to a separate room for the special. However, for Spanish, the teacher actually comes to them. Um, and that, again, is in every grade, they, re they actually have every one of those specials. Um, I just want to back up one minute. In regard to technology, um, in addition to the smart boards, we have the iPad cart, so the kids are always have access to the iPads. Their teachers bring those into the classrooms. They're working with those. Um, we have Chromebooks, which is predominantly utilized in our upper grades. Um, but, you know, um, we do have a technology lab, which we are going to visit on this tour. And I can show you the uh, computer lab where all the computers are and where the kids actually go. Uh, this year we actually formed our first robotics team. Um, we were very lucky. Uh, the team was quite successful. They actually competed in a couple competitions. We've actually won one of our competitions. And I know the robotics team um, is really looking forward to the upcoming year and years to come. Um, it's really become quite a popular uh, club for the kids here at Assumption School. Here I am on the second floor. This actually houses grades four through eight. Uh, in addition to that, our special classrooms are up here as well. Our library, our music room, our uh, technology lab, as well as the art room. One of the main features of uh, coming up onto the second floor is once they get to the fourth grade level, this is where we actually introduce uh, Chromebooks to them, which is very important for them to be using not only here, but once they get to the high school level. Also in our fifth grade classroom is when they begin switching classrooms for various subjects, again, to prepare them for that next step onto high school. Here we are in our uh, computer lab. Um, the computer lab is equipped with our desktop computers. We also have an iPad cart, which is predominantly used by our lower grades. Um, we have Google Classroom, as well as Chromebooks, which is predominantly used by our upper grades. Um, our technology teacher uh, usually works with our teachers so that um, he brings the learning from the classroom upstairs here into technology and together um, you know we continue to reinforce what is being done in the classroom but yet through technology. Um, Assumption School has been very fortunate um, that we have um, been able to continuously upgrade our technology and because of that, um, you know, it's become one of our primary focuses to integrate our technology with learning. Here we are in our library. Um, we've been fortunate over the years. Uh, we've compiled quite of a, an array of library books, encyclopedias, um, and these are utilized by all our students. Um, you know, all the students attend here at least once a week. They're able to take a library book. Um, they're kept in the classrooms. Um, these, uh, the main focus of our library has been to make kids familiar with that um, Google and our computers are not the only way to get information on topics and everything. So we are fortunate that our librarian that we have here does work with the children to make them aware and show them how to go into the books and find the information that's necessary when they're doing reports, etc. Um, you know, and also we have our older students. They they do um, they do do a thesis when they leave at, in their eighth grade year. So you know, this helps them quite a bit. And also, we do have a big brother, big sister program, which also. Um, this has become beneficial because when those students pair off with our younger students, a lot of times they're sitting together reading their library books. Okay, here we are in our music room. Uh, the kids do, in pre-K three through eighth grade, come up here one day a week, um, and they do learn about the different genres of uh, music as well as the different types of instruments. 
Due to that, we have also extended through Future Musicians of Connecticut. They can take private music lessons here at the school, um, and that's in grades three through eight. Um, and then we usually conclude our year in music with a production um, that is encompassed by the whole entire school participating, and that's our school musical, which is held in the month of May. Here I am in the art room. Uh, again, this class is attended weekly by our pre-K through eighth grade students. I'm actually holding two of the projects that have been done over the years. And as you can see, our younger students start off making simple projects like our apple and worm, which is cutting and pasting. And then as you get into the upper grades, we're making more complex projects such as our haunted house, which has a lot of detail and technique to it. Here we are on our way up to the gymnasium. Uh, this is just a little stop along the way so you can see behind me are all the trophies that our teams have won we, um, over the years. Uh, we do have a JV varsity boys and girls teams um, as well as instructional for our fourth graders. Here we are, we're going to go into the gymnasium. This gymnasium was closed from 1968 and it recently reopened four years ago. Uh, it's utilized by all of our gym classes. Um, in addition to the gym classes, it's also utilized by our basketball teams, of course. We do host our tournaments here. Um, and then for other recreational purposes, we do use it for like dress down days when we have a pajama day where we watch a movie. Um, so we basically do utilize this for quite a bit, and it's a great addition now to the school since it's reopened uh, four years ago. This is our uh, lunchroom. This room is actually utilized for those classrooms that have snack here in the morning, as well as for our lunch program. Um, our lunch program, it can either be a hot lunch that is served on a daily basis, or it could be you pack your own lunch and you bring that from home. In addition to that, this room is also utilized for our before school program and our after school program. Our before school program does open up at 6.30 in the morning and our after school program does end at 6 o'clock at night. Here we are outside in our playground. This is utilized by the students during their lunch breaks. Um, as you can see, we have a play skate for our younger students. Um, and that is usually our pre-K three through uh, fourth graders. We also have a basketball hoop, which is utilized by our older students when they're out here for their uh, recess time. As well as that, the school does provide kickballs, jump ropes, sidewalk chalk. Um, they basically, it's, it's, it's a playground. Um, and this is monitored by the teacher and the teacher's aide that are on duty on that given day. One of the important aspects of Assumption School is, of course, our desire to educate and form the whole child and serve their families in that same way. So our spiritual life is an important part of who we are and what we do. Students pray every morning together with uh, the whole school community as well as individually in their classrooms. And uh, faith is a part of really all the curriculum interwoven uh, in an interdisciplinary way. Uh, we also are very blessed to have our beautiful church right next to the school building. The church was constructed in 1891, and students gather there for prayer at least once a week, as well as for other special ceremonies and uh, concerts, graduation, and things like that. Uh, let me show you inside. Come take a look. Assumption Church was built in 1891, and uh, it really is a beautiful, beautiful space of worship to come together uh, as we... Uh, do with our school community and our parish community every weekend. Uh, the school community currently has Mass on Tuesday mornings, um, and it's a great way for us to gather as a whole body and pray uh, for one another and be filled with God's Word. Uh, the church, as you can see, is very beautiful. It has a working mid Merloche pipe organ uh, that uh, our music director and uh, music teacher, Mr. Burke, plays. The students really enjoy when once a year they get a chance to go up and visit um, in the and see the interior of the working pipe organ. So again, we hope you come here in person to visit us and to spend some time in prayer at the beautiful Assumption Church. Thank you for joining me today on our virtual tour. I hope it's not long before I can actually give you the actual tour. Um, please feel free to call me at any time. Thank you.